Okay, Mandalorian Season 3, Episode 2. Uh, what happened in the last episode? Last episode, uh, the Mandalorian wanted a droid that he can trust so he can go through the minds of Mandalore to regain his Mandalorian. He tried to fix the robot. No one thought to fix it. He fixed it, but then it went back to its regular programming to where it wanted to kill the child. And so he had to put it down again. But now they need a new part to put it back together to where it was after it reprogrammed so it won't kill the child. I don't know, that whole side plot was a little silly. But the pirate scene, that was really cool. I hope we see old Greenbeard back in here. And I hope he's a reoccurring character because that space battle was pretty freaking sweet. Um, but at the end of the last episode, Mandalorian went to go see Bo-Katan to talk about the minds of Mandalore. And uh, she's pretty much saying you're crazy, it's poisoned, and it's, it's ruined and plundered. But you can, you can do it if you want. So it looks like Mandalorian is just going to go straight to the mines of Mandalore without the robot. So maybe this one we get to see what actually Mandalore looks like. We'll see if it's actually poisoned or not. Maybe we'll run into the pirates. Uh, I don't know. But uh, the last episode, all in all, I thought I was entertained. That little side plot with the, the droid is a little weird. But uh, nonetheless, I'm still excited for this series. So let's just get into it. We having some races? Like pod races? Holy shit. Whoa, that is... This is like uh, uh, Formula One racing. Close corners and stuff. There are a lot of parts missing. Fine, I'll push it back out in the street. You heard him pick droids. This chick. I love her. Two months? What the Settle your snout. I'll put a Settle your snout. You gotta do more considering now I gotta work Bunta Eve. Bunta Eve? So it is pod racing. Let's get this thing back together again. Oh, she she swindled him. Put those cards back on the speeder. <laughs> oh, she ripped him off. Right. <laughs> I forgot she lost her tooth in uh Band of Boba Fett. It's hilarious. So uh, where's my guy? Huh? Yeah, there he is. There he is! <laughs> what the fuck? Who taught you how to leap like a lerman, huh? Holy shit! That's awesome. It's better than him just walking around. I'm looking for a replacement IG memory <laughs> circuit. Oh, okay. oh, so he is looking for the part. He's not going to Mandalore. Okay. Sorry, pal. No chance, Q. They can't find the part. Nope. I need my droid fix now. Which is why I think you should buy this beauty here. Nope. This R5 astromech is built for adventure. You smacked the top and it started falling apart. So he is going to take the droid. So he's given up on the part and just settled for another droid that's falling apart. Okay. Wasn't a question. Go over to that split in the rock and take an air sample of the ruins below. Girl, they're so cute. The droid will be fine. No. I just need him to take some readings to make sure it's safe. Uh oh. Leaving the line of sight. He's gonna have to go get it. Yeah, look. You can watch him on the scope. Oh, they got a camera on him? Oh no. Okay. Just a little tracker. You got that Darth Vader kind of breathing going on. I like it. Oh, stop it. Stop making me feel. Whoa, what the fuck is that? What the hell? Bunch of fucking cavemen? Mutated cavemen. Holy shit, headshot. Get your sword, man. Yeah. Is he still not mastered that thing yet? Nope, doesn't look like it. Come on, get their ankles. Whoa, holy shit. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That was crazy. What the hell are those things? I do wish that the lightsabers would be more like the prequels where stuff's actually being cut off, not just like slashes and stabs. And if 
the sword is too much to handle, wouldn't it just be easier not to use it and just use the stuff you're used to using? The damn purring. So cute. Stop being so cute and pinch those cheeks. I wish he would dual wield like uh, uh, Django. That'd be cool. I want to see Grogu do some stuff. This is where Bo Katan said to go. Well, pop down there. Yep. Cool. <laughs> I like how Grogu's like, let's go. Yeah, he needs to utilize that jetpack more. More in fighting, too. That'd be cool if he can, like, launch himself with a sword. That'd be sick, man. You gotta utilize that stuff. Look. Looks like the mines of Moria. Whoa, whoa, what the hell? What the hell is this? The fuck? Fucking spider Jaeger trap thing? I feel like there's some people here still running the show. Oh, oh, is that guts? What am I looking at here? Bunch of helmets and some goo. Save him, Grogu. Save him. Oh. Oh, it's a, it's a robot? Ooh, that thing's evil looking. It's like biomechanical. It's just sounds gooey. So like scavengers, I guess? Yeah, get him out of there. Do your gigantic front flips and get him out of there. <laughs> the little puppet running is just adorable to me. Yes, do it. Size matters not. Oh shit, kill that thing. Kill that thing. Whoa, whoa, nice backflip. Get out of there, put that shit in the drive. Go, floor it. His cute little ears flapping. <gasps> Holy shit, that scared the fuck out of me. I wish he would have just crushed that thing because he picked up that giant rhino in the first season. Come on, baby. Come on, little baby. Use it! Use it! Yeah! <laughs> Do not mess with Grogu. Well, at least bo is in the system, so it's just a nice front flip. I'm loving the front flips. What is she doing? She's just sitting there chilling? At least watch some TV or something, or go work out, or play on your jetpack. You're just sitting on your ass. Let's get rid of him once and for all. Wait. What? Last episode she was cool, kind of, and now she wants to get rid of him once and for all. I love the scale. I love the scale. I love the look. Everything looks great. Amazing. It's huge. <laughs> Stop it. Stop being so cute. I don't know what they taught you about us, but there was a time we actually got along quite well. Are we going to have some name drops? Side by side. Bo Katan was in the Clone Wars, wasn't she? So she would know Anakin, Obi, and a bunch of them. These fucking things. Oh, ooh. Okay, yes. Yes, oh my god. Uh, she kick him in the nuts? What the hell? You got a little shield now? All right. Do you think your dad was the only Mandalorian? She He's met her before, correct? What? He's harvesting their blood? Gross. Gross, why? Oh, she's gonna use the saber. Do it, girlfriend. Oh, yes! Yes! Hopefully she knows how to use it. And she's got the shield. She actually knows how to use it! Give it to her! Are you okay? Ew, this thing's still alive? Are you trying to say something? 
Get him out. Why are you trying to have a conversation with him? Nice. Nice. Nice knee slide. Woo! Awesome. Bo Katan. Yes. 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 Poke that thing's fucking eye out. Your father sounds like an interesting man. I would have liked to have known him. He died defending Mandalore. Be a cool flashback to see. An army of Mandalorians. That's what I want to see. Looks like her dad was a legit Mandalore. She's kind of like a Mandalorian that doesn't go to church every Sunday. You know, you're just like, eh, I don't need to. I wonder if something's living in those waters. I am not getting in that. Mm -mm. And the words of the creed shall be forever forged in my heart. <laughs> it was just missing a step and he tripped in. Damn, look at her. Holy shit. I didn't think the jets would work underwater, but that's cool. Holy shit, that's deep. Did he just trip all the way down there? Or is it the beast? Oh shit, it's the beast. Holy god, that's huge. Oh no. No, no, no. That thing is huge. Like a Godzilla. She's like, the legends are true. Okay. Well, that's that. Okay, episode two. Um, I feel like some of the writing in these uh, Mandalorian episodes, I don't know if it's because I just got done watching Andor and everything just made sense and everything lined up and it was like a puzzle that was eventually uh, finished and everything made sense as a whole. To where this is, it seems a little uh, uncoordinated. Like they don't 100% know where they're going with this. Um, I'm not 100% interested on the whole, I'm going to redeem myself. I mean, he's already doing it in the second episode. So obviously that's not going to be like the arc of the, of the season, the climax of the season. So something else is going to happen. I'm really hoping that it's going to be, let's revive Mandalore, have an army of Mandalorians taking on uh, the first order or what, whoever's going to be the next big, big baddie in here. Um, and Mandalore just gets revived, rises from the ashes and it's like a powerhouse again. That would be a sick, uh, direction to go into but for this episode in particular I feel like the writing is a little sloppy in here um, just because we go to Tatooine I'm looking for a part for the droid ah no one has that part apparently no one can restore this droid that he wants but apparently it doesn't matter because she gives him an asteroid droid instead and it did the job just the same um, ran into the caveman of Mandalore and the biobot, and those were cool fights. But then he gets captured, and then Grogu has to hightail it out there to go to Bo Katan and bring her back to Mandalore to save him. And that was a cool fight where she grabbed the saber and she had that cool ass fight. That was cool. But there's some parts in here that kind of remind me of horror movie stuff where you're just like, what? What do you? What do you need? What are you trying to say? Get him out of the cage, and then have the conversation with him. You're having a conversation with a man who's getting the juice sucked out of him. Like, what? What's wrong with you? Like, and there's a lot of stuff in here. I'm like, did I miss something? Where she's explaining stuff to Grogu that I feel like Grogu already knew. He knows that this was a great nation and that it's no longer a great nation. He can see it with his eyes that it's in ruin. And that what you think your dad was the only Mandalorian. Like, I thought he seen her before with the other Mandalorians as well as Boba Fett. Like, he knows this stuff. Unless I'm just not remembering correctly to where he wasn't in the picture in those scenes. But I could have swore Grogu knew about other Mandalorians. And now they're filling in all this information for no reason. Um, also... Uh, her non-belief in the great creature like she's been here her whole life she ruled a couple years and she didn't know that this thing lived in the waters in the mines of mandalore so and now she's a believer so it was a little sloppy i mean the writing of bo katan of involving her was i feel it could have been done better 
Um, but other than that, the scale in this show is amazing. The money is there. The music is there. The outfits, the, the sets and everything, they're all there. It's gorgeous looking. Uh, the fights are really cool. Um, it's just the writing for me that is a little lacking. Um, and for Star Wars, I guess that's not unheard of. But yeah, that was my reaction to the second episode of the third season of Mandalorian. And I will see you guys in the next one.